Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to round five. Uh, this is an update video. Um, there have been a lot of things that I missed in the beginner route guide. If you're a beginner, it's fine. If you are progressing on from that beginner route guide, some of these things might be useful. If you're progressing on from the things that I really fucked up, like the rocket stack, then uh, yeah, this is a good guide to watch. So we'll start out from the beginning. I managed to not mess anything up until the first corner. Of course, coming like that to gain more speed is potentially useful. Um, so yeah, you want to keep more speed coming through here, but if you, with this mine, I said to place it about here and then go up sort of like that and not get caught on the corner. However, I have now been told that you can press both left and right click or your primary and secondary fire while looking at your feet and you'll go up and then you can use a rocket off the wall uh, like that. It's a little bit tricky to aim, a little bit tricky to keep your speed, but in general it works. You can do that, then a second one there and you come through here with quite a lot of speed. Do that, boom. Don't miss the thing there. Now coming around this corner, it's one there and one there, like I said, but there is also the second option here, which is you come through... I'm so bad at hitting that. Come through here, you get a free rocket. So you see how I've got eight? Uh, you can get through with a free rocket here because the trigger is here. So a free rocket is available. That is only hittable um, right on the very red bit of the target, by the way, for anybody confused. So yeah, you get a free rocket here, come around here, don't hit any of the big bumpy things, then use a rocket off of this, because you need to get away from these because these will catch you. All of these are physically sticky. So yeah, use one rocket to get away from those. Head over here. Last rocket is either a pre-fire to there, which seems very difficult, or just off of the floor here in this corner. That tends to be where people are shooting it. Gain your speed down. Here, it's one, two, three. Use the boost. Oh, I missed, missed it because I wasn't going fast enough, but yeah, you can do that. Um, just use this so here it's then one down one here to get you a boost across the floor that is the way that it's um, seems to be being pushed so let's see if I can do this I'm on the server instead of a single player so I don't have what's it so I did get my free one it's not a bad route yeah getting the third one in is quite difficult not hitting any of the walls is quite difficult Getting the timing and getting through that gap is quite difficult. Then here, yeah, shoot down and you should be able to get... The timing is quite difficult. I don't actually know where to shoot it. It's sort of... You lose it just as you come off the edge of that tip that's just there. So you've got to shoot it before that and you should be able to be here. And if you're above the front of this, you can't see that from the, from the shoot down. So you want to be above the front of that and then you should get a boost enough which should just mean you can go straight across to this side with this it's the same as i said the other time look at about 70 degrees let go of w then as you get into the top you want to turn around apparently so you want to be turning around there that is non-solid see how it's not coming up with black marks from being shot it's non-solid so you're not getting a boost if you are Yeah, you're not getting a boost by doing that. So the best thing to do is to turn around. So you go do it, do it, and then off the front, and that should land you here. Getting the spacing round here, same as I said before. Up and off and round, and I messed it up. It is definitely uh, difficult to do any of these bits. But you do need quite a bit of speed coming round through here. Of course, while I'm recording, I can't do it. So yeah, getting the height is important. I have been getting this consistently, right up until now. 70 degrees, 69, 70 degrees, and that'll bring you all the way around. I'm not sure, I'm just gonna move on to the next bit. This bit, if you get enough speed, you of course will come round and go over there, but yeah, we're aiming for here. Realistically, it's aiming for here, then here, and then you're going to gap it to like there onto the platform because doing this will land you in a down ramp just like that but more at the top. 
Around here, it's getting the spacing. This is quite tricky to get the spacing and not eat that little ramp. Now here, here is the rocket stack that I was unable to do. One there, when the bridge disappears, you shoot. Okay, so one there, the bridge disappears, you shoot, then you go up. Kinda. So one, one, one. Yeah, it's it's quite difficult. You do need to get make sure you get 600 speed through. Ah, there we go. Right, and then here, here, and try and go off the side there, one there, and then, you know, the spacing could take you all the way over to there. There is, of course, the teleporter on this one, so one there, one there, up there. There we go, that's what you want. Then you can do one off of the wall to go super fast. That's quite difficult to control. The other option is now that. So you come out of the teleporter and put one into the corner. So it's up and off and one there and you're trying to land there. Uh, so this is also quite difficult. But yeah, that and that. Double jump off the rail, yes, as Woodges has just said. Double jump off the rail. Double jump off the rail, one off the wall, one off of there, something you can't, that's uh, clear decals, just before everything disappears. Uh, you will probably crash into this little nubbin just here, quite a lot, and lose all your speed, so that's a bit tricky. We're going to roll this one around, I'm just going to do this absolutely loose as anything. Uh, it is pretty tricky as well to carry the speed when you do bum bum and uh, shoot where I am right now. I clicked just as the game ended. So yeah, you do that, and then you shoot off, and we'll get to the rest of the map just after the uh, map's restarted. This is a completely off-the-cuff recording. It's, uh, yeah, I, I, I do apologise for missing quite a lot of generally important things. So yeah, I'm watching the bottom of the railing to see when it disappears here. So if you watch, I'm out, I do it, oops. I'm out, I do a jump, bottom of the railing disappears, that works for my FOV, it might not work for your screen size FOV, whatever you've got set up, but that's a pretty clean way to do it, you can still do that, and then one off there, and then up and over there, um, but yeah, it's looking like a lot of people are going for the down here, double jump off of that, and as you can see it's, uh, yeah, quite difficult, so yes, out of here, double jump, one off the wall. You've got to kind of aim it 45 degrees down because you want to get some speed and then it's just getting the timing for the rest of it. So yeah, boom, boom, boom. Right, hit that, come back. Oh dear, that was not good. Right, let's try a rocket stack one. There we go. The reason for going round is because it seems to save one rocket, which means you get a bonus rocket to use into the wall. This bit here then, this is the last bit that I didn't know what you do, uh, we're using a rocket off of this wall by the looks of things. It's going to be quite difficult because this is solid and bumpy and you can eat that, it's not a flat wall, but using it off of this wall at speed was too difficult, it's bringing you over here and you're ending up getting on the slick like here, or even here with different spacing, whereas you'd rather get on the slick faster and faster, so sometimes potentially even not taking the rocket could be the correct option but yeah off of there vroom, vroom, into the finish if you don't what you want to do is not jump off of the end of the finish there the, the rocket stack might be more consistent for you by the way figure out what's more consistent for you uh, as with everything in this game it's always what's best for you to do so yeah the, the trick with the slick appears to be that you just slick slick don't jump at the end and you will hit that uh, head bonk and be able to be pushed down if you do jump at the end if we go for this route rip it's not easy neither route is easy i have to say neither route is easy at all bad spacing on that if you get a good spacing on that ramp there you can come all the way to like here and I wouldn't be surprised if someone can be able to get a ramp boost off of there, coming all the, all the way around. 
Yeah, so if you slick and if you jump before the end of the slick, then you're likely to bonk and potentially even hit the very top. So that is all of the kind of tricky little bits that I have for you this time. Um, apologies for the broken up, um, broken up two-parter. I messed up that first one. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know you could just detonate mines in the mid-air for this literal start bit. I uh, had no idea. Someone point cool pointed that out to me, so thank you to Cool for pointing that out because I was going absolutely mad wondering how people were getting so fast continuously coming around here. That's quite tricky to shoot still, uh, even if you do have a crosshair on. Oh yeah, and you can do that and that is kind of the other route for going around here. So, thank you very much for watching. This is a phenomenal map. Here's Gerald. Grind for Gerald. Thank you for watching. Apologies again for messing up the beginner intermediate level of the beginner guide. Hopefully this helps a load of people. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you later in the week.